We are here as members of a multi-stakeholder community committed truly to improve the state of China and to improve the state of the world. Since the beginning of this year, the global economic environment has remained an intricate one. The road to recovery in developed countries has remained bumpy. Growth in emerging market economies has slowed down, and the Chinese economy faces greater downward pressure. Judging by the principle of range-based macro control, we believe the actual economic growth rate is within the proper range, even if it is slightly higher or lower than the 7.5% target. We will continue to press ahead with revolutionizing the government itself and further intensify efforts to streamline administration and delegate powers. China's effort to comprehensively deepen reform is an ongoing process. The government is taking the lead in conducting a self-targeted revolution. Just like an arrow shot, there is no turning back. We will mete out stringent punishment to companies, domestic or foreign, that are involved in producing counterfeit and shoddy goods, engaging in fraud and deception, and stealing trade secrets. China faces uneven development between its urban and rural areas and among its different regions, but such a big disparity can entail a huge potential. Promoting a people-centered new type of urbanization will it in itself be the biggest structural readjustment. Regional conflicts and hotspot issues should be solved peacefully and politically through dialogue. We stand ready to deepen cooperation with our Asian neighbors, handle differences properly, and maintain the overall environment of good neighborliness and friendship. You have encouraged us all to look at China, not only as a new champion, but as a great potential. And we would like to wish you all the very best in the implementation of all those policies.